Hi Gemini, thanks for watching this video. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, it's also if you're spying on a Gemini, I would pay most close attention to my Moon sign or my Venus sign if I were you. Okay, so for the month of December in general, what is the overall theme in regards to love? And there's something you can't see here, okay? But it's because you don't want to, because looking at things, really examining them for what they are is difficult. Um, some of you are doing that to keep the peace you know, if you're already in a relationship. Some of you um, might have just run away from a relationship in hope of finding something a little less dramatic or chaotic, you know, a little more stable. Um, and some of you are like, you know what, I just want to have fun. <laughs> um, and, you know, the fun aspect here, going out, having a good time might be why you're still single. Um, but it might also be for those of you who are in coupled relationships, um, kind of just something that you're doing to distract yourself from these feelings that you're having that you don't want to think about. You might know that you're in like some, some wavy emotions or choppy waters and you want to get to a place of, of calm and tranquility and that might require you to leave. Um, and it's just something you don't want to think about. So instead you might be drinking a little bit, might be having some fun with that kind of a thing. Um, what are the things that are working for you in regards to love in the month of December? This is, well, you're totally in control of the situation. Like, you're not necessarily going out and expressing love, um, really offering it to anyone. You're just worried about having a good time, right? So if in a relationship, um, you have that choice, right? If you want to show your partner love, if you want to go out of your way to... Sh and I would say if you're going to do this, like if you want to strengthen your relationship, if you're going to fight for it, if, if it's in trouble... Um, that you're going to want to do like physical acts of love, like um, buying gifts, like an act of service, like cleaning their car out, like doing things instead of just saying, hey, I love you. Um, and then just like not really being paranoid, like make sure Gemini's in general aren't very paranoid or worried kind of people like accusing their partner left and right, like, are you cheating on me? That kind of a thing. Um, but like maintain that kind of attitude, like if it kind of sneaks up on you, then I would... Um, I would not worry about it. Sorry, I may be a little distracted in this reading. Um, my mom is not doing well. It's like maybe her last week, so I'm reading all of these messages coming through. So my apologies. Um, also a Gemini, so this is going to maybe be the hardest one for me to do. Um, but so for those of you who are single, it's like you might just not be looking for something super um, committed or going out of your way. It's more about having fun right now because you don't want to have to worry about somebody else. Does that make sense? Now, in regards to the challenges that you're likely going to face in regards to finding love or to keeping love, having a really loving December, um, are not anything to do with your routine, doesn't have anything to do with your work, with your work-life balance, with your money, that kind of a thing. But it does have to do with like lies or thoughts, like lies that you may be telling yourself or, um, or maybe even others, you know? Like if you are just like out there having fun, maybe you're making Tinder matches or something that you're telling people, yeah, like let's just hang out and see where it goes, even though you know very well you're not looking for a long-term relationship kind of a thing. Or, um, this could also be, you know, maybe you're dating somebody and they don't tell you that they're married and they are, or um, in your relationship, this could be maybe you're cheating on your partner. It could be any of those things. But what it's saying is like a perspective shift has to happen here and it's going to happen. It's going to come in time. And um, I think this is a lot to do with this idea of like, you know what, maybe I don't want to put the energy in to show love to somebody right now. And so um, it's almost like you're acting out. Does that make sense? Why are you acting out, goofballs? Let's even get an answer for that. <laughs> They're like, well, it's not really something we need to worry about right now. The fact is that you probably are. <laughs> Let's even get a lesson card here. And they're like spontaneity. It's just like kind of like you're just to – to not deal with your feelings or your emotions and, you know, difficult thoughts. It's just like spur of the moment, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Um, and it's saying, you know, you're trying to move beyond the constraints of your mind, as I said, and just freely embrace these new situations. So for a lot of you, this could be a challenging month because a lot of transitions, um, could experience breakups, that kind of a thing. So I'm sorry, Gemini's, that totally sucks. Um, what is 
the best way out of the challenge challenges that we're going to be facing in the month of December in regards to love. And so you know what, that enthusiasm, that excitement that you have, really embrace it. Like if you've decided that you're going to move on from your relationship, go balls to the wall with that. Like go have fun because this month is about fun. Um, if you're looking for a partner, like go out and have fun because maybe that's where you're going to meet them. They say like within two months, things are going to come back into balance. Like as far as, you know, your um, reality, your real life, and then your fun life and your emotions and all those thoughts and things, they're all going to come back. But what it's saying is, um, you know, right now it just might be really challenging to deal with some hurt that maybe you didn't want to deal with. But the thing is, is those thoughts are going to seep in and people are going to try to talk to you about them in this month anyway of December because almost the whole month is a Mercury retrograde. So how do we navigate that energy? And they say, just keep your mind positively focused on where you want to go. Instead of, you know, if you want to avoid your feelings and your thoughts and stuff right now, that's fine. But then you at least need to make a goal of where you want to go. What do you want a relationship to look like? Whether you're already in one and are you going to work towards making it that way? Or what kind of ideal relationship do you have for yourself in the month of December and onwards? Like really long term. Um, because the chariot gets where they want to go by the power of their mind and their positive thinking. So that's your reading for December. Love and light and best of luck, Gemini's.